Hi, I'm Gary Kotesky with Simtech Filter. I would like to demonstrate for you today a float tree accessory uh, brackets and holders. It, uh, we have um, on our display here uh, our piggyback float holder. Uh, this is a, uh, a real universal type bracket. I'll better uh, show this to you here in a few minutes. Uh, this is our hardwire float holder. And at the top of our pipe here, our float tree, is our float tree bracket. This bracket uh, uh, gets fastened uh, anywhere from an uh, inch and a half to four or five inches down from the top of your riser. This here would be the ground surface right here. Uh, we also have J-hooks uh, to organize our wires. Sometimes there will be two or three of these J-hooks in the system uh, to accommodate all the wires and pull ropes. It, uh, let me better show you uh, in uh, close-up how we actually attach these, uh, the wires and the floats to these brackets. This here um, is our most universal bracket, which we call our piggyback um, float holder. Uh, you'd simply feed your wire into the bracket like this and weave your wire through the bracket, just as you see there. At this point, you're ready to snap this onto your float tree. These are uh, made out of PVC. Um, will last uh, an extremely long time in wastewater. Um, unlike nylon straps, uh, which become brittle and break, uh, there's no uh, uh, duct tape or electrical tape to come off and get into your pump or into your, into your system. But, uh, another bracket we have is what we call our hard, hardwire float holder. Uh, this, um, you have to uh, feed your wire all the way through, um, not, probably not as convenient, but uh, this bracket is a little lower cost. Yet, uh, here we have the float tree bracket itself. This is a bracket that gets mounted up near the, uh, the cover. Uh, we have uh, one quarter inch holes uh, in this bracket, uh, which uh, will take, uh, uh, can be easily fastened in with stainless steel screws, um, down to about a number eight. Um, you can also use this bracket as well if you run out of these brackets, but this here hole would take a number 12 screw or bigger, otherwise the screw would pull through the hole. Uh, how I do it, uh, when I actually uh, fasten uh, this bracket into the riser, I will uh, place a stainless steel screw in the center hole, uh, and then I actually take a level, and I'll level this here, with a screw fairly tight, I'll level this and then add one or two more stainless steel screws to it to hold this in a good vertical position. Um, uh, these are our J-hooks. Uh, you can see uh, when we construct these, we overbend them. This is to actually help hold your wires, and um, uh, this overbent feature actually will keep your clothes from hanging up uh, as you reach into the tank. It, um, um, right next to me here, I have a pump, uh, which you would see in a lot of systems, uh, standard discharge pipe. Uh, this happens to have a pressure filter uh, on top of this discharge pipe as it would be going to a, a mound system or sand filter system. Uh, this is uh, uh, not nearly as convenient to service. Uh, this float uh, uh, is attached to this discharge pipe. Now, uh, to service this, uh, you're going to have to uh, pull your entire pump from the tank. Uh, what we like to see is the only wire uh, coming up the discharge pipe will be your pump wire itself. Uh, all, all, these, uh, all the float holders and uh, operating floats, alarms and pump operating floats, we, we don't, do not want to see on this discharge pipe. All on a separate float tree. Uh, like we like we have here. Now this, uh, we don't provide the pipe itself. Uh, we have float tree brackets that go uh, from one inch clear up to two inch. Our most common being uh, the bracket that accepts inch and a quarter and inch and a half pipe. It um, uh, uh, <clears throat> the our standard bracket will will fit either of those pipes. Uh, you just simply cut this piece of pipe just short. 
of the top of the riser. Uh, we do like to see this pipe stick out of the bracket a uh, half inch or an inch or so, so you can actually grab onto this pipe to, to remove the float tray. And this whole float tray can actually come out of your tank and can be snapped back in to this bracket again, holding it in a vertical position. Now, let's say we're back to service a pump chamber a year later. It, uh, this system has our low tree system into it. it uh, uh, this makes it very convenient uh, and safe to service. Uh, there's a lot more emphasis, emphasis today putting uh, in uh, keeping the system, keeping your head out of the system uh, to uh, not get down into the dangerous gases. Uh, this also allows very easy um, replacement of floats um, as, as well as if you need to service a pump, uh, now your floats are all separate of your discharge, discharge pipe and your pump. It, uh, what, what we would do uh, to service the system now, uh, we always have a, a, a coil of excess wire here to allow us enough room to be able to pull our float tree out. So I'll detach that from our uh, J-hooks. At this time I can unsnap the float tray and I can, I can actually pull this float tray right out of the system. Now, then I'll snap this float, the, the, the pipe, back into our system bracket. It uh, holding all our pump float and sensor floats. It, uh, uh, above uh, the surface of your riser. Uh, this is, uh, makes it very convenient to be able to operate uh, alarm floats uh, to see if they're properly working. Uh, we can cycle our pump uh, on and off to see if it's working properly. Uh, sometimes uh, we'll uh, have to clean uh, these floats. They'll, be, they'll have a, a biological growth that is uh, uh, that needs to be cleaned off. Uh, <clears throat> by having this attached to our float tree bracket as we do here, uh, all this debris will slough off or drip off back into the tank. It, uh, when, uh, <clears throat> if you need to change a float out, you simply unsnap the float holder uh, and weave your wires back out of the bracket. Uh, if you need to install a new float, then you'll just uh, simply be feeding your wires back into your bracket it uh, uh, and snap it on. This this is done without uh, 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 using no straps or no uh, hose clamps uh, to pinch uh, your wires. It uh, snap back on, and you're ready to put your float tree back down into your tank. Long we'll snap the float tree from the float tree bracket. Lower your float tree down back into your tank, making sure um, uh, you're, you push your float tree down to the bottom of your tank. Uh, this is keeping your, your floats uh, uh, in a nice vertical position uh, in your tank. Uh, I've also found that it's sometimes convenient to be able to rotate uh, your floats away from uh, inlet flows. Uh, when I'm satisfied of uh, my float position, we'll take our excess wire and uh, we'll coil it up onto our J-hooks.